Hey folks! Hello! Uh, welcome to Paradox Place the Classics, and this time it's going to be a real classic, <laughs> and none of this newfangled stuff like Sid Meier's Pirates and so on. <laughs> That's too <laughs> modern. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is a game I discovered when I was 12. Uh, I actually bought the sequel first. The sequel is called Doom Dark's Revenge, and I bought it in a bookstore. And I had many magical moments with that game up in my room became antisocial, <laughs> probably got me started on this path <laughs> to become a game director, so... Uh, so now you know how to become a game, game director, you know? Play Just Lords play Lords of Midnight, Midnight yeah. yes. And also, for you who know Henrik's on-screen persona, like, online persona, Doomdark, this is where it all comes from. It comes from this game, yes, that's true. And I already told Henrik that he needs to sp play quickly, because I need to see this Doomdark <laughs> figure. Oh, we're not sure well, we we're going to um, be able... You will never see Doom Dark, but you can see where he is in the game. If okay. we uh, if we try to get there, we might be able to. I saw there was a sequel called Doom Dark's Revenge. Yeah, exactly. That was the game I got first, actually. <laughs> so I okay. played through that, and then I discovered that hey, there was actually a game before this. So this is a little bit more primitive than the sequel, um, and it's something as unusual as a first-person strategy game <laughs> with role-playing elements. So you know. This is kind of unique, but this was the, these were the times when when um, game designers came up with completely unique ideas. I think mm. uh, it was made by one guy, mathematics professor called Mike Singleton, um, who is unfortunately no longer with us. Um, but this game is, exists on uh, uh, pads and on the PC as well. So this is a, of course a very modernized version of of the game. It looks much prettier than the original version. But that's lucky for us. Uh, so here I am, I'm Luxor the Moon Prince uh, in this fantasy world, and I can look around and see what the world looks like. It's a billboarding technique, or landscaping, I think he called it, um, and it's quite kind of pretty. Uh, when I see enemy armies, they will show up as um, banners in the distance, and I have a bunch of different characters that I can switch between. Seems like you actually have a mouse pointer as well. Yeah, of course, that's that's been added with this modernized version. Um, so it's, it's much easier to play these days. There's actually a built-in map in the game as well that didn't exist to begin with. Um, I had to use the map in the manual <laughs> to sort of have <laughs> any idea where I was, where I was going. And I think that actually makes the game more immersive, especially as a kid, uh, when you're just thrown into this weird world and you don't know what you're doing. You know, you're 12 years old, what's going on? You have to learn a different foreign language. Um, yeah, again, magical times. <laughs> magical time. <laughs> right, so yeah, I have initially I have four characters. Rorthron, who is a Gandalf-like character. Looks like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, a very, uh, it's a lot of like aesthetics, like uh, from uh, old uh, uh, Lord of the Ring. Uh, like the, there's a certain, like the books that came in like the 50s had a lot of this art, at least the Swedish. Oh, I think so. The, one, right. the first one I uh, I read, the Gebers version that came in like the 50s. Right. I, it looked very similar to this. Like the, the little Yeah, no, I, I love the art style, um, if you can call it that. <laughs> but it's, a, you know, it's been smoothed out. It was extremely pixelated when I played this game. Again, modern. Yeah, there's Luxor. He's, he's actually one of the lords of the realm. Um, Morkian, his son, I think he's half elven, um, and he looks like that. He's a kid, and he features in the sequel because he's kidnapped by the evil uh, daughter of Doomdark, <laughs> called Sheriff the Heart Stealer. So she has sort of converted him to evil um, using her womanly wiles, of course. Uh, and your mission is to recapture him and make him realize, you know, he's actually a good person inside. Um, and then we have Korleff. He's he's an elf, basically. Uh, so he is good for recruiting other elves, um, and you need to find these guys and recruit them. And that's kind of a unique mechanic as well in this game that you move around this fantasy land and you try to recruit other commanders to your side. So I've always been fond of these recruitment mechanics. I haven't really seen them in other games. Here we have a fella. Uh, yeah, here we have a fella. Uh, this is another elf. He's probably one of the best hidden characters in the uh, game. Uh, he's, he's... How, how do you know he's an elf? You just know. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell by his color scheme. Ah. Uh, he's kind of greenish, whereas the human lords are yellowish. <laughs> okay. So you see, he's also sort of greenish in color. 
So now what I can do is I walk forward and then I can approach him and try to convert him to my cause. And it's really quite simple. If you see this button button there, you can you can convert people. So now he joined my army. Um, and to get an overview of what this map looks like, let's take a look. This is is, there, is this actual in-game music are we hearing? No. No, this no, is CK2 not. music. There's ah, no okay. music in this game. <laughs> Yeah, I just hear right. f faint music in the background. So this is basically a cleaned up version of, of the map as it existed on the manual. Um, but they've also done something very funky, which is an actual representation of what things look like in-game. And this is <laughs> this is sort of cheating, I think. You know, you should be forced <laughs> to walk around. Actual representations yeah. of what it looks like. Ah, casuals. Crazy stuff. This is for casuals. It is, for sure. Now... I think this game works best if you don't know much about it, and you're just walk, walking around and exploring. Uh, yeah, these are monsters that you can face. Uh, I'm actually a lord of an army here. You see, now I'm this lord that I uh. recruited. So I can tell that, you know, I have an army. And I'm commanding uh, 1,000 warriors, but no riders. <laughs> uh, so I'm not too afraid of wolves, I can just walk ahead and kill them with my army. However, the single characters uh, who have no armies, basically, they should watch out. I like the Monsters. whole like narrative here where it actually tells a story. So it like it writes out as a book. As yeah, it's along. quite uh, innovative, really. You can tell what the characters are, are thinking. And there's more of this, actually, in the sequel. And you need to read the text to see how tired they are and so on, and if they need to rest. Uh, the same goes for the army. Um, now, the whole premise is that you the world is kind of under the spell of the evil Lord Doomdark, mm -hmm. uh, a Sauron-like character, uh, who has created something called the Ice Crown. So there is, uh, this Ice Crown spreads the Ice Fair, <laughs> which demoralizes uh, all these uh, Lords of Midnight. And uh, the only cure for that is a ring carried by Luxor the Moon Prince. And you can see here, he has with him the Moon Ring. Ooh. Uh, so anyone who is near to him kind of neutralizes this ice fair, uh, but the goal of the game is to destroy the ice crown. Very Lord of the Ring-ish. Oh, well, I went to the wrong direction here. I should go towards my own keep. So Luxor is the best guy at recruiting other lords. Um, Morkin is not very good at it, and Rorthron, Gandalf of course, he knows everyone, so he is the best recruiter. Uh, so how is like successful recruitments calculated? It's basically, I think every character has a list of all the other characters that they can recruit. But it does make sense, um, because the elves are good at recruiting other elves, and the humans are good at rec recruiting other humans. So, like, so you, you're switching between characters here. Yeah, I'm now you're playing Morkin. Yeah, I I'm control all the characters that I've recruited. So initially I had four, right? And now uh, I'm up to five. And they all have their coats of arms as well, as you can see. Which is again, I guess, subconsciously, uh, an inspiration for Crusader Kings <laughs> and, and the coats of arms that we use in that game. When I, and when I moved with every character... Um, this is actually a guy without an army, so he has to be a little bit careful about monsters. When all my characters have finished their moves, um, it's the end of the turn, basically. And the way they solve it in this game is it's night. So, you know, day switches to night. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure I'm ready to end the turn. And then there is a little narrative, because it is at night that Doomdark and his armies move. And the further on this campaign goes, the more information will scroll down here, and I will see what's going on in the world. So there will be blood spilt in various areas uh, of Midnight, which is the name of the land. Alright, uh, moving on with this elf going north. Trying to navigate between all these monsters and stuff. And now you went through horses. Horses are fine. Ah, okay. um, I can actually be deprived of my, my mount. So you'll see some characters, they are on foot and others are on horse. And that determines how, f how quickly I can move. So it's actually good to find horses if you've lost yours. Ah, okay. Now, 
Luxor should be trying to recruit Lord Blood. <laughs> I think that would be a good idea at least. Uh, I think that's his keep. Um, now you saw I entered a ruin here. Uh, and this is where some role-playing elements come in. I can look for stuff. Oh, I found nothing though. Ah. That's a shame. Because sometimes you can find artifacts. You can get more turns. Is uh, there any kind of turn, like counter on the how many moves you have left? On the no, you'll have to <laughs> guess. But there is an indication here. Um, because it says one hour of the day remains. And you can sort of tell. This is dusk ah, now. Ah, right, because yeah. Because I only have one move left. I'm going to move one step more. And then I'm going to recruit Lord Blood. And then he, in turn... I'm going to pick up some uh, some soldiers from this keep. Uh, because there are several tactics to win this game. And the one I usually uh, used as a kid uh, was a sort of turtle tactic, I guess. <laughs> I collect all the lords, I move them down to the capital of the land, and I await uh, the armies of Doomdark to come there and kill themselves against the walls and my mighty army <laughs> at Citadel Xyor Kith. It's not perhaps the most fun tactic, but it's very effective. Um, there's also a sneaky way of winning the game. Uh, Morkin is not afraid of the Ice Fair, so he can walk into Mordor, essentially, um, uh, the land of the Witch King himself up north, um, and there he can uh, pick up the Ice Crown and take it somewhere to be destroyed. <laughs> right, that was Lord Blood, um, Rorthron. See if I can get some more turns here. I seem to recall that in these, uh, what do you call them? I don't know. Monolith. Well, monoliths. <laughs> you can find the Cup of Dreams, which brings back the day yeah. and allows me more moves. <laughs> So it is a it is a race because Doomdark's armies are coming down from the north, and I need to find and recruit as many lords as I can and bring them to safety, or to, uh, gather them up and fight Doomdark on several fronts. That's more difficult though. So I'll recruit some people. There you go. And it's kind of a domino thing because each new lord you recruit has fresh turns, so it can take you further. So if you play well, um, you can reach really far into midnight in the early turns. This guy. Uh, I just have to say to Blonder, there's something like the sound falls away from my headphones. Uh, so here's the thing, if you speak very softly, um, the mixer board gates you out because it thinks that it's just background noise. Uh, okay, okay. So you need to keep. Yeah, but it's like it's uh, it's actually I hear Henry talking, but then uh, in the headphones, and then all of a sudden I just hear him from outside. Like the, oh, the okay. headphones go silent. Um, now and then. Yeah, I think it's not, I think it's not that's a super it. big deal. Just <laughs> it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> a little bit annoying, but it's okay. All right, that's great. Yeah, so this game was. A fair bit more primitive, actually, than the sequel. Um, you notice I, I recruit troops in these castles along the way. I pick them up, basically, but they're not uh, replenishing. So okay. the troops that are killed are lost forever. But I don't see much fighting, though. No, that's it's, it's <laughs> going to come, I promise you. <laughs> okay. There's not much to look at, though, when it's fight time. It's just a report what happened during the night. There's a tower! Yeah, that's where I came from. Ah, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the next forest with this elf guy I picked up. Actually, I should probably find some horses for him as well. I think he's on foot. Look at that. Poor fella. Walking yeah. around. So that's a slow, a tired. slow mover. Alright. Let's have night again. But, so, uh, but yeah, so it's different. You recruit soldiers and you recruit lords. There's two different... Yeah, the lords have their armies. Uh, and, you know, it's if you play this tactic... You should try to pick up the troops in the in the keeps that will be taken by Doomdark's armies as they come down from the north. Show, okay. I can show you on the map. Basically. Um, right, there you can tell where the so everyone is. This is Citadel Ushgarak, 
where ah. Doom Dark lives. Sounds evil. And this is the Tower of Doom, where his ice crown is. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it. Like, there's uh, <laughs> certain things in here that are it's, very, very <laughs> similar to a certain other work. Uh, <laughs> no, Tower of Doom. Don't trash it. You know, no, 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 no. I like it. I really like it. Yeah. It's like... Uh, <laughs> just you, could, you could argue that it's a bit derivative, though. Yeah, but it's like, aren't all fancy, kind of? Oh, for sure. So his armies basically come down. Out of the north, uh, they spread out, and then they reconverge uh, on Citadel Sirekith in the south. So that needs to be protected at all costs. So the red ones, what's the difference between red and black here? It's just, it's uh, different. Not really much of a difference, it's just these are points of interest, I guess. The citadels mm. are easy or uh, easier to defend as well. Okay, uh, yeah, the black is more like plains and woods and stuff. Yeah. So no, I never really preferred the tactic where Morkin goes and picks up the Ice Crown. I, I think that's, that's not really very satisfying. Nah, I prefer like a military victory. There is some host there. Yeah, this was the guy I recruited earlier. So that's what it looks like. Ah, you, you see... met the other, like you run into the other guy now. Yeah, yeah, this is the other guy I'm moving around with. Ah. Of course, if it's Doomdark's armies, uh, there are a lot of uh, <laughs> nasty looking horned helmet guys in front of those armies. All right, let's see what Luxor was up to. He recruited Lord Blood. Um, he actually starts without an army, so the only way he can get some troops is to pick them up in these uh, citadels. This is not the guy on foot, is it? No, this no he's not on foot. But, but I, I'm, I'm a bit curious what the, the thing you do there when you open, have like, the, you have a, like an arrow oh, yeah. with the people. Yeah, no, this is obviously also, <laughs> this has been improved. This used to be like keyboard combinations. I can deploy my troops to guard these uh, mm. castles, or I can take troops out of them. And the way I play is I loot them of their troops as much as I can. <laughs> All right, so when you when you draw down, it's like that's how many you leave yeah. in there. Okay, that's I why I, that's why I wanted, because you like you kept decreasing it and i was like that, that um, seemed yeah, no, the I, wrong way around. i want to take all the troops ah. uh basically out of those probably helps a bit so what i'm going to do with morkin here is i'm actually looking for one of the Ooh. rarer characters or special characters in the game uh it's a dragon and he alone you know fights like three of doom dark's armies basically so he, he tends to kill like 500 people in one go pretty cool and powerful took me a while as a kid to find him. I was like, what is this? Um, there is also another... So he's basically a monster you can recruit. Uh, mm. And there is another such monster. Uh, it's a little goblin or skulkrin, as they're called <laughs> in this world. Which I think is a very cute name. Yeah. Um, and the thing about these special characters is also that they happen to be... the One of the ways to kill uh, or destroy... The, uh, the Ice Crown. So let's see. Lord Guard, where should we take you? Let's see Secure if I care. catch any questions here or anything. Any comments? Uh, moved enough. So I'm not going to have time to really do accomplish much uh, in this short session. Um, it'd probably be a better idea to just stick around in Citadel Shimmeril. Who is Brith? Is that someone we know? Lord Brith. Yeah, Lord Brith, uh, Brith is one of these uh, minor Mo lords in the game. Movers Ben here says that Brith is awful. Well, I don't <laughs> I, he remembers more than I do then. I mean, he might have like only warriors or something uh, and be on foot. So some of these lords are actually better than others. One cooler thing about the sequel as well uh, was that they had more personality. The different lords um, could be like gregarious or cruel or mm. stuff like that, which had an, um, was more interesting in how you recruited them because you had to sort of match them up. Uh, let's see, fastest way to the next one should be around the hills. Technically, perhaps. we could do a CK uh, sequel with this, like this. This could be a new Crusader Kings game. Uh, first person uh, CK. <laughs> yeah, don't tempt me. Um, <laughs> I think we have spawned an here, idea here. Here is Lord Brith. Um, didn't have time to recruit him though. But yeah. Let's see. Need to get used to this new interface here. 
Shimmeril. <laughs> <laughs> Crusader Kings 2.0, but we are already on to... What, what are we up to? 2.3? 2. 2. What, oh what my, the version number is like 2.8. 2. All right, yeah, 2.8 uh, is now. Yeah, I, I keep on... Uh, Keep on mixing up in my head. Yeah, so this is taking this is Crusader Kings 2.9. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't see that one coming, I think. <laughs> A complete uh, overhaul. All right, so I need to recruit some more troops. Well, I don't strictly need to because we're going to try and make a short stand here at Citadel Shimmeril when the enemy comes. Let's fight, do uh, dark. Night comes. The bloody sword of battle brings death to the domain of Marakith. So, who is Marakith? It's a region on the map. Ah, okay. So okay. now you need to know your uh, your regions basically, ah. and refer to your manual, um, or you had to back in the day. Sad times were they, but they were also magical. Yeah, <laughs> I love how you reminisce about back oh, back in the day. <laughs> like this is yeah, this is a way to yeah, catch. Yeah, no, up. I mean. <laughs> You can't go home, right? So those experiences you had, you know, it feels completely different to play this game now than it used to. Let's see, Luxor. Move on. It says there that Mike Singleton died so young. That sounds so Yeah, I don't sad. think he, he wasn't very old at all. Um, I gotta Google this now. It was very sad. Yeah, it was just a couple of years back. Yeah. 2012 cancer god damn it that was sad uh, 61 oh, years old he turned uh, seems way too young yes all right so here is far flame the dragon lord and that's one of those monsters you can recruit and i always find it so fascinating his name F the, dra ah, the dragon is. lord uh, what does that mean in this world you never get to know actually there is no lore <laughs> to tell you um Right, Korleth, what am I doing with you? I'm gonna try and save. Yeah, here's uh, Tasdingo as the guy that made this game also made a game called Doom Dark's Revenge. Could this be linked with Henrik's nickname? And indeed it does, because Doom Dark's Revenge is a sequel to this. It is the sequel, yes. Uh, absolutely right. And the bad guy in this game is Doom Dark. The funny thing is, uh, Doom Dark is actually dead in Doom Dark's Revenge. Ah, uh -oh. <laughs> he, he, he his... gets his revenge from the other side of the uh, grave. You know, exciting. It's his daughter, very CK-ish. You know, your heir takes over again. Uh, All right, because I guess you kill Doom Dark in this game. You kill Doom Dark in this game. That's oh. that's right. He's Spoilers, actually... yes. Spoilers, yeah. All oh, right, where were I? where was I? Lord Guard. Yeah, we should rate this stream S for spoilers. We should have that in the... You have to sort that for next time, Blonde. <laughs> so it says like, warning, warning. Spoiler alerts. This is the future of CK2. Apparently Doom Drugs Revenge is also a mobile game. I get information about here. Yeah, the mobile version of, of both of these games was reconverted to PC. And that's the version we're actually playing. Ah, right okay. So you can get it on good old games. Or from directly from the studio, which is probably better if you want to support uh, them. Support them. Yeah. yeah, same goes for all. It's usually, if you really like a studio, it's usually better to buy directly from them because, yeah, of course, if you retailers want wants a cut, always. Right, Lord Blood will defend Shimmeril while I bring up some more more guys to help defend. <laughs> Doom Dark Revenge is what happens when you drink the water while on vacation in Africa. That sounded harsh. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, chat humor. <laughs> <laughs> Blum shot. I gotta say, you know, it's it still looks surprisingly good this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, again, I guess. Even it's though it's <laughs> updated, I mean. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a yeah. bit too. Uh, I, I, like, I envisioned this how it must have looked in your shallow with like the pixels. Like this. it was very pixelated. Well, if, if I get to chime in, I, I imagine because when I think back to my childhood games and then go back and actually look at them, they look way worse than <laughs> than I remember them. So this. This version is what I imagine that Henrik remembers the game as. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, it also doesn't help when you try to blow up old games on like giant screens. They were made for like 15 inch screens. No, <laughs> no, I mean, no, it's like, yeah. The bloody sword of battle brings death in the domain of Dodrak and Kor and Marakith and the Marakith too. and Marakith. Yeah. Damn it! Each battle for Marakith. Yeah, it's tricky to get to Marakith uh, before it's attacked, uh, but Lord Marakith is pretty powerful, so he usually survives. Here we're gonna stand, make our stand. And um, where where are we making our stand? What, where are we? Where are we? Well, let's take a look at the map. We are here, Citadel of Shimmeril. We shall make yeah. our f stand against Doom Dark. Yeah, and the armies are going to come down here through this pass and fight on the bla plains of blood. Of course, Ooh. very suitable. You you can't like ball neck them in in a pass. Uh, no, I mean, anyway? there are no bottlenecks really. You, you move through mountains as well, but it's hmm. uh, it's slower. Rorthron. Who's this? Lord Rorath. Great. Great stuff. But let's go back to... Let's see. Yeah, I, I like that. This is so true. Like, mal malfunction M1KE says it. Like, back the old games, you remember? They, that's what people also when they remember when they compare new games to old games it's like oh, old games were so much better the <laughs> thing is like the thing is like you you fill up so many blanks with your imagination in the old games whereas new games has a tendency to more feed you everything oh yeah absolutely whereas like um, i could man i played like if i remember correctly i played like pac-man and made out uh, <laughs> like a story behind it uh, like oh, you imagine who pac-man was no but it was like i, I kind of made it into other games in my head like it just used a mechanic and then i kind of put it on a, f a imaginary filter over it and then i just used it and like imagined stuff while i was oh. doing it and i imagined doing other things there was like representations of other things yeah, yeah. i mean the crappier or more abstract it looks yeah. the more you have to engage your, Ooh, your actual look mind at that. yeah here's one of doom dark's armies uh, pretty scary looking guys. Um, let's see how many troops they have. No warriors and 1,000 riders. Ooh. Okay. That's not very good. Morkin has to be protected at all costs. But... He can hide because he doesn't have an army. Let's see. Seven hours of the day remains. Okay, I'm gonna move northwest. Oh, shit. Too late to hide. Well, let's hope he survives. <laughs> Come on, Morkin. Yeah, we... because if you use all your moves, you can no longer hide, basically. Uh -huh. So I have to sort of try and time that. We all... We all... Uh, uh, pray. Hope and pray for the well-being of Morkin. Dragons. Right. Are we actually standing in a Doomdark army? Perhaps. <laughs> That's not good. No. All right. He slowed 90 of the enemy. I didn't actually check. We were attacked during the night. Oh. Uh, so He slew 90. You see, he was actually alone <laughs> and faced the whole army. Um, this is looking a little bit better because now he can fight together with... He survived, uh, though. Farflame, the Dragonlord. Yeah, these guys are pretty damn tough. Uh, especially Farflame here. Although, you know, I, I'm... I'm not confident about this particular fight that's going to happen. Arrow someone said there's move into the dragons there. That's a bit odd. Oh. Well, let's do that then. Yes, if I just get to do a shout out to another game that's not paradox related because Mowers Ben said there's a, about one other game that uses first person perspective to strategic level game for a strategic level game. I would say that Kingdom is kind of it's not first person. It's a 2D platformer but it's still a strategic game. Like, it, it kind of, uh, it somehow, like, there are similarities, even though, yeah, again, this is first person and that's a 2D yeah. platform, but it's like the strategy elements, interesting take on strategy. It is, for sure. Um, I mean, I guess Mountain Blade is kind of similar mm -hmm. in some ways, yeah, it's true, but it's, true. it's much later. Um, where did I go with Shimmer? Let's take a look. Up here. Okay, I need to go. I wonder if I'm gonna have time to recruit 
this guy before Citadel Shimmeril is attacked. We shall see. Who are we recruiting? Is it the uh, dragon? No. The dragon. Uh, you got the dragon, right? Yeah, I got the dragon. I'm going to recruit Lord Marek if you saw he was attacked ah, earlier. Right. Or one of his keeps was. Um, let's see. Shadows. He's going to recruit an elf called Lord Thrall. Hopefully. And Breath. And as you can see, the more lords you have, the more your turns will sort of slow down. <laughs> as in any turn-based game, I suppose. Because there are more more things to do. Recruit some troops. Rorath, Rorath. I'm gonna send you north as well. So you see, there are mi many little minor keeps without a lord, but they have some troops that you can pick up. <laughs> and when I come out on adventures, sit and yeah, rot away in this lonely keep. I'm a bit worried about Korleth and Farflame here, I think. Bad things might happen. <laughs> yeah, it look, looks uh, like a bad situation. We shall see. Ooh, the night comes. Night has fallen uh, and the fowl are abroad. The fowl are abroad. The war of the solstice. The bloody sword of battle brings death in the domain of Dodrak and the dreams and of Kor and of Mar oh, damn, that's a lot of places now. <laughs> yeah. And blood and of blood. I like the repetition. Markith and of Markish and of blood and of blood. Yep. They're everywhere. They're coming. Yeah. Let's have dawn. It looks like Korleth is still alive, but he's in a different place now. So, Flee? Uh, he still has his horse. Uh, he slew 70 more. That's great. We're losing a lot of battle area, I guess that's fine. Uh, seems like we might have killed some horses at least. <laughs> 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 Doomdog's army is on foot. No. I love their stylish pink boots. That was probably the keep garrison there. Yeah, isn't it lovely? <laughs> you have to remember this was made for the Spectrum yeah. and it only had, what was it, seven colors or something? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, magenta, beautiful magenta was one of them. There happens to be an elf in this forest as well. It's in the north and he's kind of hard to save. Rithil, I think. Such great music in a game from this long ago. Again, <laughs> yeah, <it's>, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We're cheating a little bit though. Uh, uh, in case you were not joking, it's uh, it's actually the CK2 music we're hearing. <laughs> Very appropriate. All right. I love Farflame. It's like a killing machine. They were evil horses indeed. So here, he's gonna try and keep this elf safe until I can recruit him. Um. And of course, you can min-max the hell out of this game. <laughs> uh, and I know a lot of people try to do that. You know, how soon can you defeat Doomdark? And so on. Um, Is there a Guinness World Record for this? Uh, it's probably not in the Guinness Book of World <laughs> Records, but there, I'm sure there is a record. Uh, did um, you see the guy who got the world record for championship uh, football manager? He played a career for 170 years. Wow. And he got the Guinness World Bo uh, Book of World Records for it. And I, my response was 170 years. That's nothing. Like, play a CK2 game from the beginning. There you are going to have many, many years. <laughs> yeah. It's not that hard, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's pick up some more guys. I think I'm going to turn around here and see if we can have some nice battles in Shimmeril. The Lord of Dawn. There's also a Lord of Morning, which is kind of Luciferian. But no Lord of Day. No, but <laughs> Luxor is the Lord of the Moon. Ah. Uh, we have Lord of Midnight, Lord of Dawn, Lord of... Yeah, I guess Mike Singleton really loved those terms. He's slightly tired now. That's that's a shame. But he's still utterly bold. <laughs> Orkin, my friend. I got a question in, uh, in Swedish here. What is this some kind of new game? <laughs> what game is this most Some kind of new game. Like? Yeah, no, it's certainly not a new game. Um, well, this version is, I suppose. 1984. 
It's the original year uh -huh. of this. And also, it was like, a, for those who are curious about Hendrik's age, you got a clue earlier in the stream where it says he was 12 when he played this. And then you can... Yeah. But it's a bit tricky, because I said I played the sequel first. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Um, I found the sword Wolf Slayer. Great. Ooh. So now I don't have to be afraid of wolves anymore. Were you at the beginning? <laughs> well, <laughs> Mor Morkin has to be afraid of wolves, <laughs> to be sure. He's just a little kid, basically. Um, so he's he's being sent to Doomdark's realm, very Hobbit-like, mm. to try and destroy the Ice Crown. Oh, the, Hello, Lord, guard. the Lord of Guard cannot recruit elves, or the Fae, they're actually called. So. Skip that. There's shadows here. <laughs> I read a book once called 1984. That's very good, though. <laughs> <off. laughs> and that yeah. book was written in 1948. Very old. Yeah, I lived yes. through that period, you know. Big Brother and everything. Yeah, no, it was tough times. You know, there were tough times. I remember the 70s. It was the best 24 days of my life. <laughs> so now I've at least gathered up four lords in Shimmeril. See if I can get Thrall down there as well. Sorry, Shadows. Yeah, if you have problems with CK2 crashing, please turn to the forum or open a ticket through support.paradoxplaza.com. Are you used they to saying help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people. <laughs> Actually, it's getting better. Like you, back in the day, it was a lot more people getting trying to get technical support through stream chat. But. Wow. All right, I think it's nighty night time again. Um, there we go. And the Fowler brought again. Let's see where they go this time. The bloody sword of battles bring stuff. Dreams, Core, Hereth, Ithril. And Ithril, Ithril again. And Marrakith. <laughs> Marrakith? Again. Like, seriously, that yeah, they're place. Being, they're being hit hard. Or is it repeating? Is it just adding on the no, old these are these are each individual battles. So it's... But, but it's reset between days, so it's not it's not repeating. What is it? Because it seemed very similar to... Maybe they just stand around and keep on fighting in the same place. Uh, no, it's like... These are the planes of blood we're looking out at here. So every time there is a battle in one of these keeps, um, that's going to be listed. <laughs> now you're saying uh, like Marrakech's got like two times every night so far. So I was thinking like yeah. yeah, but it's a it's a whole area. So there are many keeps there. Um, so here we can see Doomdark's army is coming in. Is that Doomdark over there? Yeah, I'm sure it is because they're not my guys. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Meanwhile, Rorthron is recruiting an other elf? Timrath. Lord Timrath. He had some troops. Moving on. Oh, I'm not really looting these places or looking into them too much. Um, that's more roleplay stuff that you don't really need to bother with. It's also a bit risky because it can suddenly turn to night and stuff like that. Oh yeah, moving back. I'm actually gonna look into this lake though. I guess I'm gonna get the waters of life. Ooh! What happens? What um, does the waters of life do? Oh yeah. They reinvigorate you, so your troops uh, and your lord is no longer tired. Which is good if they're gonna fight hard against the foul armies of Doomdark. And I happen to know up here. There's another special monster. This is Fawkrin the Skullkrin. Mm -hmm. Ah, the Skullkrins. Uh, There's an igloo over there too. Yep. So Fawkrin and Farflame can destroy the Ice Crown. Ooh. Right. Doomdark is, uh, is we uh, sieging the igloo. We were hidden, so I need to unhide. Get over here. Now <laughs> I should be able to approach him as well. Yeah, great. Uh, 
Oh, where was guard? Some troops? No. And this is Lord Xyorkif. So this is the capital of the free world right here. Ooh. And this is where Doomdark's armies will all converge. Hmm. Getting a fair, a good collection of lords there. Yep. Again, the Xyorkif stand is kind of it's dull in a way. Uh, at least if you played this game several times, but it's very effective. <laughs> kind of look Zoroastrian, these guys. Zoroastrian. Yeah, it's uh, like the symbol for the, the eagle there. Like this kind of looks like the Zoroastrian symbol. Uh, maybe like a Faravar a little bit. Right, Lotharil. Brawl. Take a look. Cheating a bit. How did this happen though? What happened? I think this is a bug. I haven't recruited this lord yet. <laughs> but we got him. Yeah, that's that's weird. <clears throat> that's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> is he fighting a battle or something? Strange. I guess there are bugs even in old games. <laughs> and no, that's impossible. Old games were delivered perfectly uh, immediately and uh, full of features. Never any problems. Right, I need to navigate a bit. Oh, I'm too far east. Can you like fortify a position or something? No, 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 you can't. Not even in the sequel. But in the sequel, this was it was more satisfying to take back and hold uh, castles because they were the source of your troops. Yeah. What well, what's the circles there on that screen? Hmm? Uh, on the uh, sh screen with the lords and their shields, it was like there's a circle around some of them. Oh. Um, well, that's, uh, you know, if they finish uh, their moves, or... Th this circle. There's a red circle around it. Oh, it's the one I selected, right? <laughs> it, it was... I thought it was, like, another one had, like, a blue round. Like, there were several circles last time. I don't know. Oh, well, I haven't really noticed. Again, this is not a screen that existed in the original <laughs> version of the game. Um, let's see if we can rescue this poor Lord Marakith here. He's been fighting hard. Marakith. Let's... Still alive. Right. Should report the bug and wait for the fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lord Marakith. Should probably head back. As well. Of course, it's most satisfying if you play like you got to catch them all. Basically, you have to save all the lords. It's like, um, this is, uh, <laughs> Pokemon is just a ripoff of this. It is. Of course, there are only 32 lords. A CK2 book would never be touched by a publisher. Here's my book. It contains 500 years of incest, patricide, and brutal wars because of broken marriages. It sounds like, uh, it sounds so game of, like Game of Thrones to me. Yeah, no, it sounds exactly <laughs> like Game of Thrones. So. Yeah, exactly. I'm always supposed to say that. Not <laughs> <laughs> All right, who didn't I get in here? There's a guy on foot again. Yeah, let's see. Ahead stance. Dawn and shadows need to get into the citadel. Look, uh, now there's more circles. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what they mean actually. Is it because they're in the citadels? No. I don't think so. Weird. Uh, right. Well, it could be, actually. Yeah, it's probably because they're behind walls. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not <clears throat> all right. Night. Ah. 
There's not many days that pass though. Like <laughs> every turn is getting really, really long. Yep. Let's see what's getting under attack now. It's not too bad though because you usually park a lot of these lords in uh, castles and let them stand there. And Marikith, but only one time this time. Uh, it's it's gearing up now. The war is coming to midnight. The blood get triple. Damn. Yeah. Do you want dawn? Yes, I want dawn. Literally. Lord Dawn, where are you? There you are. Get in here. And shadows. Let's see if there was a battle, by the way. That's always interesting. No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're, they're walls. They're safe. I think with the port though here, they could have made the moves a little snappier, perhaps, if, I, if I'm allowed to criticize anything. <laughs> um. Seek shelter, great. So you can rest up in these little villages as well. Uh, there we go. Morkin, recruit Falkrin. Ooh, look at that little fella. Isn't oh, he cute, cute though? Yeah. yeah. He doesn't look very happy though. It's no. Like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I'm not sure I would trust him. <laughs> it's like, uh, you, you watch our backs, man. Yeah. Don't run away. There's someone who, who scribbled something on that yeah, thing. Yeah, it's actually a memorial to oh, Mike right. Singleton. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh. This is Lord of Midwinter. Isn't that another game? It's another game he made, uh, Midwinter. It was actually a 3D game. Uh, the Lord of Midwinter, yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if this is some sort of new little quest they've added. Maybe you can uh, recruit Mike Singleton. Ah, it could be. You must seek the Forest of Dreams. All right. Let's see if we have time. Probably not. Morkin, Morkin, where are you? <clears throat> Still at our son, how I picked up Lord Lotharil here. It's very strange. Um, guard is out moving. Well, he, he can stand in Syrkith. But he didn't have a. He was also walled. Hmm. Ah, this is, this is strange. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Could be a bug. Yeah. Alright. Still don't think we've been attacked in Shimmeril. Who else is out and about? Well, let's use see this. It's who you are with, says Moresbeth. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So if you pick one guy who actually stands with other people, then it's going to mark out the, the people you're oh, next to. Oh, okay. Right. So they're in the same place. Thanks for that. Didn't realize. This is pretty convenient as well. You can actually click on them on the map like that. I still feel like it's cheating somehow. But it's not hardcore. But it is very useful, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Who are these? Rorthron. And he was standing with... Hey, I should be able to see that then. Yeah. I'm just gonna say. He was standing with Timrath. Timrath. Great. See, good feature. There we go. There's not that much left on the stream, so if we want to fight or something. Yeah, well, um, I guess let's hope some uh, Doom Darky and armies show up then to fight. No, oh, wait, is it called Lotharil? It's okay, so it's not a bug. I'm confused. I thought this was Corithel or something. Alright, so no, makes perfect sense. Did they fight a battle though? No, they didn't. Alright, night time. Night. Let's see. Shimmeril. Yeah, core. There's, there's war in Shimmeril now. Uh, 
Oh, Ithril got the triple treatment. <laughs> yeah. In my experience, these uh, foul soldiers are not that good, actually. Well, it depends on the ice fear and stuff. Let's see if there was a battle here. No. Because if the ice fear gets too burdensome, so <laughs> this is very mild, so that's very good. All right, let's see. In the Battle of Shimmeril, blood alone slew 70 of the enemy. His warriors through. Okay. Victory went to the free. Great. Whoa, we won a battle. So that was a massacre. But as you can see, there are more armies <laughs> incoming. Um, it was just a... Uh, was it a fur troop? Well, <laughs> the vanguard? No. Oh. Cannon fodder? Yeah, yeah. well... <laughs> Meat shield operation, uh, exactly. uh, operation uh, monster shield. Let's see if I can just bring in some more. Rorath, you're close. There's still the one right. guy without a horse. Yeah, I didn't pick up horses for him. Or his army. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a bit weird. I think the horses you find are only for the Lord, but they can still command like 1200 riders at the <laughs> same time. Could maybe borrow one of theirs. <laughs> <coughs> I'm also amazed by what you could do with the old Spectrum 48K. It had 48 kilobytes of memory. Um, and you know, it's pretty amazing you can do a game like this uh, on such an old machine. It's even 16 less than what Bill Gates say we would ever need for a computer. <laughs> yeah, Rorthron is alone. Get you into the Citadel here as well. Let's see, Morkin was not attacked, right? No. See, this is Lothoril. I'm confused. I'm very confused by this. How did they get up <laughs> We're there? Lost. Well, oh, yes, I'm lost. <clears throat> We're lost in the lands of midnight. Cool. Night time. See if we can get rid of those armies on the in Shimmeril. Kor, Herath, Ithril, Ithril, Arakith, Dodrak, and of the Moon. Yeah, it went in a complete wrong direction with Farflame and. Uh, Looks like Dawn Korlof. is in a fight, and Shadows, and Rorath, and Luxars. A lot of fighting. Yeah. So, Ooh. it's on down here. It really is. Um, Ooh, that's a lot of soldiers. Yeah. Slightly afraid. Okay. Yeah, it's getting harsh now because you can see I'm losing some troops as well. Yeah. Um, still. It, yeah, it's still like you lost we're five giving, 50, <laughs> 20 versus. We're giving a lot worse than we're getting. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's a good sign. Now, I have won this game uh, by bottlenecking at this place as well. So it's perfectly doable. Uh, I'm not sure I have enough lords around this time, though. Oh, the Citadel is full, I think. Ooh, there's a lot of people there. I don't remember. No, yeah, okay, no, it's not full. I probably need to attack or something. Yeah. Attack! Because there are enemies in there. There we go. Yeah, and then you can have any number of armies uh, standing around in the same place. Yep, now we have uh, about five minutes. Five minutes left, all right. Um, I wonder if I should send Far Flame to take a look at... Ooh, yeah, the dragon. Doomdark's realm. It's not that far away, I think. Um, should be... Yeah, we're, we're close. Of course, the ice fair is going to be murderous up here. 
Hmm. Citadel of Vorgath. Our flame, of course, is flying around, so he's very quick. Okay, let's hide here. And let's go to night. <laughs> As I recall, Doomdark did not have his own, like, uh, sprite. <laughs> okay. So, which is a little bit sad. It would have been cool if he looked like one of these lords, at least. But maybe he did. See, maybe they added him in this version. Now let's check it out. So I'm gonna unhide and go take a look at Ushgarak. See that tower there? That's where the ice crown is, oh. by the way. A lot of armies here. Yeah, the armies are thick. Well, let's read what it says, at least. 1,200 riders. Yeah. I don't know, he's, he's not actually there, I think. Or he's hiding in his tower. That could be it. So you rally all these lords and forces and the bad guy doesn't even show up in the end. No, I mean, he's... <laughs> it's like a, an eye on top of a tower or something ah. like that. <laughs> I don't know. Let's seek the Tower of Doom. Yeah, it's only Morkin who can find the ice crown there, so that was kind of pointless. I gotta say, you know, this version of Mordor or whatever, the evil lord's lands, they're kind of pretty. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look too bad, no. right? Lanes of Despair looks pretty cozy. Let's see how the fight is going. A lot of Doomdark hey. armies here now. Yeah. Alright. How did it go this night? Luxor slew 115 of the enemy. On his own. Um, this is something we should bring into CK2, actually, I think. I think the the lords should kill, like, 500 peasants yeah. and stuff like that. <laughs> his warriors slew 20. The battles continues. Well, he didn't have many warriors. So let's see how Shimmeril did. Turns out the Doom Dark has agoraphobia. <laughs> Shimmeril slew 55, his warriors too. Okay, well, we're still winning because we're not losing troops, really, yep. so it's looking pretty good. All right, folks, that was a yeah. <laughs> very quick little rundown of a fairly simple game um, from my childhood. Still brings tears to my eyes, really. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a pretty good game. It's like Lords of Midnight, it's called, and you can get it <clears throat> on good old games. Uh, yeah. If you're interested in picking this up, or you can go directly to the developer. There's also an iPad version, or a uh, mm. pad version, a uh, tablet version, and uh, I think it's only about four bucks. Or something. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys! So next week, I have no idea who is going to have next week, but someone's well, going to show up. Let's see if someone can it's find uh, it. Either. It's going to be Daniel Moregård, I believe. Ooh. Oh, all right. Knorr can right. confirm. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the case. It's either that or Jake. I don't yeah. recall. <laughs> I know what Jake would be playing, but I don't know what Daniel is playing. Well, I dare them to find an even older game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, we actually talked to Daniel outside and he wasn't sure about what game he would pick. So I guess it's still up uh, in the air. He, he did mention something to me. We'll see if he actually picks that. That's going to be see. very interesting to see. And of course, if someone picks an older game, I'm going to go have to come back here and I'm going to have to play <laughs> Zork or something. <laughs> Zork. Uh, uh, that's that's real that's good RP man. Have a good weekend folks. Bye bye.